you may know that if you go to the bottom right corner of your Mac, you can pop open the Apple uh, Notes. And it's really simple. You can start taking a note. But there are other ways to do it. There's sticky notes, which you can get where apps like Float. But there's also a way to make it more rigid. And that's called Side Notes. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Side Notes to see whether it's right for you. If you're interested in the app, you can find a link below. But all of my opinions are honest breakdown of this app to see whether it's any good for you. So find it linked below. I believe it's part of Setup as well, if you're interested. Setup gives you access to over 260 apps as part of one, so you can check that out in the link description too. Here we are with Side Notes, and one thing I really like about it is that you can create folders. Now, folders help you to break things down um, and essentially give you structure to all of your notes. Now, what's nice as well is you can see that there's this like um, bar that appears here. And if I press it again, it pops open, but it is stays omnipresent while you're using the Mac, which is really nice. Now, it doesn't mean you can use any gestures, but there is a keyboard command when you press all of these specific keys together, it pops open. In my opinion, too many keys to open at one time, but it's quite easy because you can then start using these. So this is great, not only for keeping links, but also for being able to use uh, things like pictures. So saving an image of, I don't know, your Wi-Fi password. I'm not saying to store passwords here, by the way, but at the same time, many people like, there's loads of text formatting options. There's a way to keep a to-do list as well, which is handy, and the to-dos it appear quite nicely. You can also use some colors as well to highlight things, and you can change the color of your note too, which makes it great. You can also change all of your notes into markdown, plain text, and code, which you may want to reuse again. So you're probably wondering, how I use this every single day? Well, basically, you could use this as a way to copy important notes over or use a chat GPT prompt if you're just using that prompt regularly and you don't have a way to bake it into your system already. And you can also use it as a way to access things like code or markdown easily. Now, you can share these notes, but they will share as a version of them, and you can also save them as an image, which is helpful too. So what I can do inside of each of the folders is I can move them to the top, I can create a new folder within there, and I can quickly use the keyboard shortcuts, as you can imagine, to browse all of my notes, as well as be able to use uh, quotes and things like that. So all in all, this app isn't rocket science. It's quite easy. You attach it to the side of your Mac and you can use it every single day. But how does this differ to other applications? Is it better than Apple Notes or maybe better versus apps like Sticky Notes or Float that we checked out here on the channel before? Well, if you compare this to Apple Notes, it's not gonna replace everything about it. But what it does do better is something that Apple Notes doesn't do, a more deeper integration with the Mac ecosystem. So it will allow you to pin that on the sidebar and that means it's more of a reliable location to come to than just a dedicated app that has its own window that moves around every single day. It is also different from apps like Float that we've reviewed here on the channel. They're sticky notes that live where they are dropped, which is helpful, but again, at the same time, this is much more rigid in terms of its structure. So for Mac users who want a reliable way to find stuff quickly and easily, they quite like this app as well. So again, the pricing of this one, you can get it as available through Setup, and you can buy it as a one-off download for $19.99, paid once, which means you get the license for one device and up to five activations on Mac. And you can also use it with iOS, meaning you can quickly get access to those notes on iPhone and iPad too. So well worth checking out if you're interested and a handy sticky notes alternative that's a bit more rigid and structured for you to go with on Mac. Thanks very much. I will see you soon. Check out all the links in the description and another review will be coming soon, I'm sure. Cheerio for now.